Wagwan people, we are back! Master League, Frank Lampard is back. West Ham, episode 11, brothers. And it's a London team. It's the London team. Back again. The fixtures have fallen nicely. We've got Arsenal and Tottenham in this. We did we beat them both earlier in the season. Can we do the double on both of them? We are down on energy a little bit. Squad has to be rotated a tiny bit, but I mean, look at this. Rice is down. I mean, we've got low energy on Diop. Uh, Cresswell's in there. We have got Masuaku and Ivanda, who will make his debut in this episode at some point. Gerson's on there as well. The front three are looking buzzing. Let's hope we can still match Arsenal. Ozil's playing for them, which is a surprise. But um, it is what it is. We're seven points behind Liverpool in second place. We are two points ahead of Man City, who are in third. Can we keep West Ham beasting and feasting? At the moment, uh, you guys have voted for me to start a new Master League. That's a beautiful ball round. One second, Niketi is in against his old side. Ed Niketi is in. Oh, just straight at the goalkeeper. He stayed big. Uh, but you guys have voted for me to do a new Master League on uh, the 22nd. There has been quite a lot of comments asking me just to continue this because I'm doing such a good job with Frank Lampard and West Ham, which we are, to be honest. It's been a good good series. Nice little ball in. Niketi again. Second chance. Oh, right. Two opportunities for... West Ham early doors. Bowen back on that favoured left foot, swings it in. Niketi, a good save by the keeper. And then for some reason, looks like uh, Holden rammed his nuts into the damn post. M hits in goal for Arsenal. Yeah, but I've had calls for people to do. Obviously, I put Leeds United on there, Crystal Palace, um, and Journeyman, or someone else. A lot of you brothers again voted for Leeds on that one. And then in something else, we've had Arsenal. We've had Liverpool, because obviously I'm a Liverpool fan myself. Uh, we've had Leicester, Everton. Um, but the majority of the votes, when I did the second one, wanted me to do a journeyman, where we, again, we start from the bottom and work way away across. I mean, the good thing about that is as well, it's been, I didn't get to your concern this time. Oh, again. Just wide. So, yeah, my thinking is with the journeyman one, at least we could potentially go to all them clubs. And what we're going to do with that is I'm going to have a look through Pez. Um, select a one and a half star or two star team uh, in the back of nowhere and then start there and then see what job offers actually come up from what we do I mean I know it isn't that realistic on pairs I mean half the time if you're in second position you get offered the team that's top of the league their job for some reason but we're going to try and do it as realistic as possible and build our reputation up so we're going to start off as a one and a half star kind of manager uh, not that we can do that on pairs but you know what I'm saying we're going to make believe and then we're going to work our way up reputation wise what we think we deserve and Niketia again <laughs> hey Niketia has been absolutely beasting at Arsenal at the moment it still remains 0-0 Arsenal have just been on that blue tick thing I'm not even tried to play any football today they're negative but we know for well this man up here just needs one chance and Arsenal are one nil up and then that's it boring boring Arsenal we're going to hold on to that one now ball played inside beautifully done here's Matt Noble so yeah, I'm looking forward to the journeyman. I think it's going to be good. I need to do my thumbnails and my graphics and everything for it. And like I say, pick a team that I want to be. I've found a few teams in Denmark and Switzerland and all sorts that we can start off as. And like I said, we'll do some leagues we've never done before, more than likely as well with this. And see where it takes us. All right, ball that wide. Uh, Reggae Boy United will continue as always with the subscribers and everything like that. And so will uh, Gascoigne. The Gaza one will probably be a shorter become a legend. I'm probably going to do maybe one, two seasons max at each team. So one at Newcastle, one at Tottenham, for example, Lazio, Rangers and Middlesbrough. And do it that way. Um, obviously, Delano will continue right until the end of PES 2021. As always, brother. Sending through. Ah, I need to catch you again. Driving through. Can we whip anything in? Bowen's in there, but it's deflected. Arsenal clear their lines. Just Noble takes control of it. And Noble can strike one. Oh, and he's... <laughs> Lord of mercy. How many opportunities? West Ham should be at least 3 0 up. 10 minutes till half time and it's still 0 0. And the opportunities we've had have been amazing. Heading on. Fredericks will get there first, though, brave in the challenge. And Bowen will take on David Louise, which we always know is going to be an easy challenge. And Bowen's coming all the way in. Can we lay it back for anyone? We can't. Just Again, players in the way, bodies in the box. Bowen should have maybe done something earlier with it. Again, given away by William this time. What is going on with Arsenal? Here's Noble. The try on the outside of the boot. Didn't work. Cresswell recycles. Felipe Anderson. Again, West Ham. Ah, 
Too easy, Anderson. Too easy. He's giving it away, and this is where we're dangerous. Arsenal, a couple of one twos, and a Bamian's in. Here they come. Can Arsenal get their only attack of the half? They can't. Noble again. Ball play forward. Niketia does well to referee. How on earth is that not a foul? Had the back to the player, but yet he can foul me. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, how on earth can he foul me and get away with the ball? I know if he's anything. But look at the domination from West Ham and Frank Lampard. We need to win. If we've got any outside chance of winning this league, we basically have to win every game. Because Arsenal, uh, Arsenal, Liverpool aren't going to drop that many points, unfortunately. We're seven points behind them as it is. And I said we even drew last game and they were just on it straight away. I think we played Leicester off camera. But Antonio's in and surely we've done it. Finally, Mikel Antonio runs to the crowd. Because I'm the man. We extended his contract, 31-year-old Mikel Antonio, we thought, you know what, he's too important to the squad to get rid of. Not for just six million. And we kept him, and now he's scored at the Emirates Stadium. But again, Arsenal, been on that blue tick, negative the whole game. This is easy stuff for West Ham. Arsenal's back line, like the back line that Uri Emery used to play. 1-0 up, three minutes into the second half. Again, West Ham are getting a reputation now in this league. Big teams are actually getting scared of us. Especially with Jock being on low energy and Rice being on Brown. Can't even strategy, can't even get to him. He's not even buzzing. You'd have thought Arsenal would have been at us. Coming off. Blocked away by Jock though beautifully. He falls out wide though. Willock's trying to get across. Leave that be. We'll take that all day every day. And all of a sudden Arsenal decided to wake up. Now they're 1-0 down. Alright, Fabianski will take. There's only a Bamian in our half. We could have gone short, to be honest. Pick it up, though. It's out wide. Bowen. Back to Fredericks. Keep it in, brother. Nicely done. Willock. Will turn out. Felipe Anderson. Fine, Antonio. We can find Niketia again. Niketia near post. Good save. Had to take it away from David Luiz. Maybe the touch was a little bit too heavy from Eddie. Made the angle a lot tougher. Cresswell will take. Savic is on for Arsenal. He's headed away. Willock will take it. Laid back in. And then Willock's taken out by William in the end. Absolute liberties, William. Will be a free kick in a dangerous area. Fredericks, go away. Were you about to take that then? Son of a... Calm yourself down, Fredericks. Cresswell will take. Up and over the wall and over the bar though as well. I feel like Fredericks was going to run over the wall and hit it. On the CPU taking my damn free kicks. To be fair, he might have done a better job than me on that one, but that's by the by. Here's William. Back inside, get there, Fredericks, get there. Beautiful. Excellent work again. And we can send Antonio in and hold in his spitting feathers. And Mikel Antonio's in. And Mikel Antonio's save again. M hits. He's a right keeper. We end up losing this game now, or even drawing it. I'll be fuming. The chances we've had. He even tried to just slot it in the corner just to make sure that Mikel Antonio is second goal. Then we catch it again can turn. And it's around Rob Holding. But he read it well. That played across Cedric. Back in again. Pepe. Played in. Abamia. Back out across. Ball forward. Arthur trying to do their thing. Fredericks into him again. And plays it off him beautifully. Is West Ham a chance to bring some players on? Right, it might have to be Gerson on. Get Gerson on for Willock. And let's bring a Vander on. See how he's going on. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. I'll save the last one just in case one of the fullbacks gets a bit tired. Alright, for debut time, Evander. Number four shirt. Every time, but I'll change that. Let's see how this Brazilian does. West Ham. Influx of Brazilians. Felipe Anderson, Gerson, Evander. It's a poor ball. To Niketia though, but he's still charging down Luis. The tight marking, Fredericks. <laughs> Nicely done by Eddie Niketia again. Arsenal just dallying at the back. Get up, get up, Eddie, get it, get it. Played inside. Nicely done. Back on up time. Here is Evander. And Evander will shoot. It's blocked away. Arsenal clear their lines. The option beneath it. Get something on it. No will tidies it up. Here's Gerson. Into Evander. The Brazilians linking up. Ah, trying to find Bowen, but. Again, that team cohesion won't be here. He's only been here a couple of days. Arsenal again, just look tired. Antonio starting to flag a little bit now as well, though. 
Make sure you keep it short at the back. Ball inside. Mark Noble's there. Diop can't get round his man. Aubameyang can get there first. Can hold it off. And Arsenal have an overlapping run. And it's Cedric. Has to cut back inside though. And in the end, Cresswell gets it but then loses it again. Arsenal turn. Nicely done by Gerson. And here's Mikel Antonio. Has to run at the defence though because again they're a little bit tired and Arsenal played in again. And it is Eddie in the Ketia and it is 2 0. The keeper stayed on his line and Eddie has come back to haunt Arsenal. And West Ham will do the double over. Them, I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Frank Lampard is just fist pumping in the face of Mikel Arteta. But again, he had to step out. What kind of slide tackle was that? What is going on with Arsenal's defence? We thought it was sorted out under Arteta, but my lord, today they've been shocking. What is that man doing? Really, bro? And David Louise and Holding have had a mare all day, let's be fair. An absolute mare. Nedin and Ketia said, you know what? You should have called me Arteta. I'd have done a job. All right, Mustafi's on. Arsenal's defence gets worse. Just put petrol on a fire, basically. Uh, hmm. I know you just scored, but let's get you off. Let's get you rested. Lincoln, get on, brother. Another Brazilian. That's right. We're getting the future Brazil team at West Ham. 2-0 up. Eight minutes to go. Surely three points in the bag for West Ham. Ball play forward. Gerson intercepts. And again, those fresh legs doing wonders. And played in Mikel Antonio around the back. You can then chip it in. Couldn't find Lincoln. <sighs> Nearly an own goal from Rob Holding. Press roll take. Puts the ball in. Ball's up in the air. Bowen's up there as well. It will fall out for Arsenal player. In the end, West Ham pick it up. Evander. Gerson. Trying to play the ball through. Cresswell. West Ham looking for a third. Cresswell's on the back. He will take a touch. He will whip it in. And Bowen's in there. Driving header. Lincoln. Bowen. Offside. And that's it. Arsenal survive. But what a calamitous day for Arsenal this has been. Four minutes of injury time to go. Headed back down by Evander. Trying to get in there. Back again. What a debut for Evander as well to come into a game like this. 2-0 up. Can't complain. Nicely done. Cresswell again. Strong in the challenge. Mikel Antonio a little bit tired but wins it back still. The West Ham team fight for each other like nobody's business. And then Lincoln can get it. <sighs> Intercepted. But West Ham get a 2-0 win. Arsenal shocking. Absolutely shocking, but West Ham don't mind. Three points in the bag, brothers. And well deserved. My lord, what is going on? Arsenal, I've never seen Arsenal like that on this game before. I don't mind. All right, how did Liverpool do? They lost 2-0 at home to Aston Villa. Oh my god, the Villa curse strikes again. We are now four points behind. We've got Tottenham next. It's going to be a tough one, but why not? It's a three-horse race, let's be fair. Man City is still in it as well. We're only six points behind. Uh, Burnley, Southampton and West Brom prop up the table but West Ham are in pole position so maybe even try and snatch something I do believe we'll have to play Liverpool still as well we're what 11 games away so we'll play this one I'll play one off camera play another two play one off camera kind of thing so we'll play Tottenham today I'll play Sheffield United off camera and then the next episode will be Liverpool and Leeds and then again Southampton off camera Man City and Crystal Palace then I'll probably play United off camera Villa and Burnley or maybe the vice versa May United Villa and then Burnley off camera and then come back for Chelsea, Everton for the final fixtures. We're talking three or four episodes, brothers, and then this season is done, this series is done, and then we're on to the journeyman one. All right, so London Stadium awaits. Tottenham and West Ham go at it. I'll see you at kickoff, brothers. All right, brothers. Let's see if we can do the double over Tottenham as well now. Again, changing the squad, a lot of players down a lot of players tired so Lucy Mai comes in Masuaku's in there Almandra's back in the squad uh, Lanzini's out again so Philippe Anderson's in the middle um, we do have Martin Oval back and I do believe we've got Bowen up top Sessignon and Bustos da -da -da -da, Bustos is up front as well because he is buzzing Eddie Nketiah's on red I don't get it Nketiah scores and then he goes on red what the what, what's going on this guy clubbing on a night after he scores a goal who knows what's going on 
But again, can we keep beasting and feasting? As you've seen now, Liverpool have dropped points. We're back in it. Four points behind them. Again, what, 11 games to go. We've got to claw it back. We've got to play them as well. We have to beat Liverpool. That is one of the things we have to do. But can we do it? We've managed to beat most of the top six already. Once this season. We're beating most of them again. So here's your lineup. As I said, Bustos. Da -da 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 Bustos. At top. Lucy Mai. Back in there with Diop, the brothers at the back. We've got a brother's back line. Look at that. Masuaku, Lucy Mai, Diop, and Fredericks. All brothers in the back line. I like it. This is your Tottenham lineup. Let's get it. All right. London Stadium is up and running. Like I said, we did well against Tottenham last time. The trick is to get in behind Son and in behind Lamella. Because you've got to kag it round Sissoko, usually in that midfield part. part he's pretty good. Unless you can win it high line. But like I said, as you can see, Davis pushes forward. Ah, he got the spin move on me though. Got the spin move on me. Fredericks holds him up a little bit. No free kick. That's nice. Now they're going to go along. So again, what you don't want is them brothers walking down the line. And also what you don't want is Harry Kane. Ah, again, can't see him from nowhere. This is what Kane does. Kane drops it off. He'll spin move back. But if he turns you and Kane shoots, you are screwed. Kane will shoot. Same with Aguero. Him and Aguero literally will turn and they will shoot. And they will score every time. So you need to make sure your game is on fire. All right, here's Philippe Henderson. There we go. Split through them angles. Like I said, get behind them wingers. The midfield section is generally tougher to get into. Here is Bustos. Good little turn from him. Oh, can't get the ball off of his feet, though. Again, only the third game Bustos has played for West Ham, but... I say Lincoln wasn't buzzing, Bustos was. Eddie Nketi was down. So we had to make the call. Frank Lampard said, you know what, let's get it. We bought you for a reason, we trust you, man. Can you deliver? Diop. Just gets a little bit onto it. Helps it go out wide. Lucy Mai. Masuaku. And again, we've got to draw this midfielder in. He's dragging back now. Mourinho's men. Eh? Mourinho ain't daft on this game, you know. Mourinho is not daft. He knows what he's doing. Touch inside. Noble. Felipe Anderson, again, get in behind them wingers. Lamella's still there, but we can get in behind this time now with Cessignon. This is nice, give Tottenham something to think about. Cessignon, a couple of little turns. Screw it, right foot. Bustos! Oh my goodness. Goal kick. Decided to volley it instead of head it. He made a right meal of that with Bustos. But he's in the right position. I don't mind that. Put in those positions, brother. When you head it. Nicely done. Goes out wide again. Almendra comes across. Almendra. Not strong enough in the challenge. Lamella turns Masuaku and does a little drag back heel. Nicely done. Lucy Mai has been dragged out of defence. Tottenham get that cross in, but blocked by Lucy Mai. Nicely done there. Bustos can run the lines. Kind of on his own at the moment, Bustos. Bowen is in the middle, but we're going to have to go a long pass to get him. We're not going to get there. And Tottenham get the knockdown. His son. Fredericks back on goal side. Gives him a little bit afters as well. I like it. I like it, Fredericks. Let him know you're there. Come on, Sessing, you'll never mind ball watching. Get across there and help out. Tottenham again trying to double up on them wings, but if we escape this, their fullback is up. He's there, there, no. It's crossing it in. Oh! It's an OG! By Dior. Oh my lordy. One of them where if he didn't get it, Kane would have got it. 29 minutes in. It's not what we wanted. What happened here, Dior? Oh my goodness. Ball's whipped in. And yeah, what a header from Diop, to be fair. Trying to defensive head it out. Score past his own keeper, West Ham. A behind at home, 1-0. It's always tough. But Felipe Anderson, around the back. Full stops. Desperately trying to get something on it. It does hit it in the side netting in the end. Had Vaughan panicking for a second. Come on, West Ham. We don't want to lose to a goal like that. Diop's been immense all season, so we can't bolt him. Little switch over again. Masuaka's has got time to take a touch. Out wide. And the only thing is Mourinho, when he gets 1-0 up, his teams are always tough to try and break down. West Ham, have been playing so well all season. We can turn with Bowen. Into Bustos. Gets it out of his feet a little bit, no. Again, tackled just at the last second. Here's West Ham again, Mark Noble. Into Sessignon. Can play it out wide. Masuaku. Go to the line, cross it in. Bustos is in there again. We'll get a second chance and Bustos scores. Hit him in the damn forehead at first. And then he got the rebound. And Bustos, do -do -do -do, Bustos. Makes it 1 1 after 38 minutes. Frank Lampard's like, do it again. Ball out wide. Sessio managed to find Masuaku. Heavy touch, but got it out of his feet. Whipped it in. Hit Bustos on the nose. And then volleyed in on the second chance. 
Tottenham are still dodgy at the back. And West Ham always have a chance. And the Argentinian, oh, Masuaku just kept it in. Off his noggin. And then in the box and then scores. Beautiful. Bustos gets his second goal for West Ham. Can we keep going? Like I said, the only game I played off camera was Leicester City, which we beat 1-0 as well. Could have been a lot more. We did uh, hammer them. But, uh, yeah, this is what we need. Back in it at 1-1. I don't mind that. Watch the runner, watch the runner. God, I tell you, man. Got a runner in Lamella. But Lucy Mai again, he's strong at the back. Let's get it launched into that half. Let's get one last attempt if we can. Boeing, can we win the header? We can. And Bustos is in behind. A mistake at the back. And Bustos is in. Chips it over the keeper. And Bustos, 2-1. The little Argentinian showing shades of Carlos Tevez when he came to West Ham. And Bustos makes it 2-1 on the stroke of half-time. Little flick on. Defender, what the ras he doing? Bustos is in. It looked like the second touch was a heavy one, but managed to just get there and chip it over form. And West Ham have turned this game around in a space of 15 minutes. Defensive header there, backwards. What a touch from the centre-back. Chested it down and Bustos was straight onto it. Vaughan came out and it looked like that touch was too heavy, but what a finish. And Bustos is the toast of London. Beautiful. Looked like we were going into the half 1-0 down and Bustos in the space of seven minutes has made it 2-1 West Ham. Could this be their season? Can Frank Lampard dream of a Premier League title? With West Ham of all teams. Have a word with your sins. Still 45 to go in this one. And like I say, still 10 other games to go in the Premier League, including Liverpool. It's going to be tough, including Manchester United as well. And to be fair, West Ham probably enjoy playing the top six more than they do the lower league teams. It's always the case on Pez. Don't let Kane turn. Don't let Kane turn. What did I tell you? 2-2. The London derby is getting hot now. I said every time I said it, him and Aguero literally take a touch. And if you're not tight enough or get round turned quick enough, if he gets onto that right foot like Aguero does, you, that, you're screwed. The brother does not miss. Fair play. Let's watch it again. This is what I'm saying. Ball in. And if you're not touch tight, look at him now. There. You're not touch tight. I went to the right instead of the left and that's it. He does you every time. I should have known he's going to go onto his right foot. Ah. Just as we went into the half, 2 1 up. It's back to 2 2. Can West Ham do it again? Ball over the top. And Bustos is in again. Just underneath his head, though. Could have maybe taken a touch. It didn't fall nicely, but Tottenham looks susceptible at the back there with that crosses in. Anything in the air, they look very dangerous. West Ham. Let's see if we can keep it up. Tottenham again, just panic stations at the back sometimes. I don't know if it's Vaughan that doesn't fill them with confidence. If they're trying to overplay it or just top them a crap. <laughs> That's my theory. Here's Bowen. Can curl it around. Bowen! Oh! What a goal! Jared Bowen! 3-2 West Ham! Can you hear me now, Spurs fans? Fran Lampard says, yeah, I taught you that. Oh, what a goal! Jared Bowen turns. One more touch and then hits it from distance and Vaughan stretches out but can't reach it. What a game. 3-2 West Ham. Noble with the ball into Bowen. He took the touch. The second one then hit it. And it flew in off the post. No chance for Vaughan. And West Ham lead again. What a goal, brothers. Right, can West Ham hold on this time? Just need to keep Kane quiet for another 33 minutes. It's going to be tough. Or can we add a fourth and kill this game off? Headed on. Masuaku strong in the challenge. It bounces nicely though for Lucy Mai. Almendra, our own little Mascherano. Touch inside. Who's Masuaku? Sees the run. That's a beautiful run from Sessignon. He can whip the ball in. Again, getting shirt pulled back. Just couldn't get a clean connection. But as Tottenham push forward, maybe we can hit the counter. Got to stay strong in the challenges, make sure the substitutes' decisions are right. Noble, can't intercept that one. Tottenham are in behind, but Almendra's coming across. And again, we've turned the wrong way. And they get another shot, and it's in. Son of a... <laughs> and quite literally, a son of a... Oh, my goodness. 3-3. Three, three. 
just <laughs> can't defend. Mix up here. I mean, to be fair, Job didn't know which one to mark. And then who saw that for coming from Son? What a finish. West Ham 3, Tottenham 3. It wasn't Kane. We had to keep quiet. It was Son. Oh, come on. Head on now, boys. Head on. <sighs> Nearly caught out again. Felipe Anderson this time. Here's Noble. West Ham won't take this line down. We know that. Back in again to Noble. To Bowen. Played in beautifully to Sessignon. Bustos, you're offside, man. Come on. Beautiful ball by Sessignon, though. You can see straight away. Where are you going? Back to Argentina? Get your booty back on side, man. Quit playing. All right, bomb. Long kick up. Headed by Giop. Can we get second ball? We can. Headed down, though, by Felipe Anderson. Back out wide. Dagba. Takes it round one. Locked out, though, by Masawaku. Get there, Manjo. Get there. All of a sudden, the brother had 85 stitches. Come on, man. He's setting on Felipe Anderson. We've got Bustos on the turn. Nobody's runners though. Out wide is Sessignon. And Sessignon can now whip this in. He can. He's got near post. Oh, and Vorm nearly caught out with the near. He's at least saying, calm down, bro. He didn't have a clue what was going on. My lordy. That would have been some finish from Sessignon. West Ham corner ball whipped in. Masawaku's underneath it. Kane gets there first though. Don't know how he managed to teleport through bloody Masawaku's body. Have a word with you, Senpez. That'll do, Kane. Thank you. Right. What are you saying, Frank? Let's have a look at his bench. 12 minutes to go here at West Ham. 3-3 at the moment. Ah! Uh, we need to get Olsen on. We do, we do, we do. All right, well played, Sessignon. Olsen, the Danish brother. Let's see what he can do. Here's Bowen. Touch inside. This is nice. Noble's lost out though, but he can win it back and battles for it. And sends Fredericks down the line. He'll get there before Davies. And he'll whip something in, but it's deflected. And in the end, cleared away. Noble again, just in front of his man. Captain doing his business. Oh, Philippe Anderson can't find Olsen. And here's Harry Kane now. But brought off it again by Mark Noble, who's on red now. We need to get Noble off, I think. Come Masawaku. Deliver something. Nice round the back to Olsen. Olsen can turn. Olsen can cross it in. Bustos can get there. Say by form, but blocks again. Clearance by Vitongan. I do believe. What the rass is going on in this game? It is all ends open. But we have a run on the far side. Surely referees offside. And Fabianski's out to meet it. Come on, boys, let's go. 88 minutes played. We probably say neither team deserves to lose it, but. Oh, intercepted though again. Just dallying on the ball, Fredericks. Can we get back in? We need possession. We don't want to be in this half. We want to be in the other half. Come on, get there. Ah, it's going to be a Tottenham throw. 50 seconds left. We literally have to... Oh, don't even give me that free kick, Bulldookie. Come on, Pez. We've nearly had an whole episode without any dodgy free kicks. You nearly made it, Pez. But no. All right, ball in. With your header. No! Tottenham have scored from a dubious free kick. Lo Celso, you son of a gun. And Tottenham lead in injury time, you son of the guns. Ah! 40 seconds left, if that. Stop celebrating! Look at this. Oh, I can't believe it. Right, this needs to be launched. Oh, ah! 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 What a game. Ah! Oh, that could be the end of the title race. Now, I say it every episode, then we get back in it, and then we're out of it, and then back in it. But to lose 4-3, though. I mean, they had three shots on goal. One was an own goal, obviously, but my lordy. Ah, oh. It's just downright liberties. And Liverpool won 2-0 at Burnley. The day gets worse. We're back to seven points. We're still in second place, though, but... Oh, ah, ah. That's frustrating. To lose like that, man. What a game, though, for the neutrals, but I'm gutted, honestly. Right, Sheffield United, I'll play off camera. Lord have mercy. Fuming. Play them off camera. Hopefully, we're back in the mix. Uh, Liverpool will be playing um, Chelsea at home, so you never know. You never know. 
And then the next episode will be Liverpool and Leeds brothers. So smash the rass out of the like button for West Ham's effort against Tottenham. To lose 4-3 like that was gutting, but you got to smash the rass out of the like button for it. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Wow, wow, and welcome to the channel, brothers. Hit the notification bell. You'll never miss the next episode when we're going to be playing Liverpool first versus second. Peace and love, brothers. And I'll see you on the flip side. Peace. Take it on.